Ultra HD foundation. I'm in the shade Y235. Um, this foundation I do like to use with Mars Negative Liner. So yeah, I basically like to use this little tiny foundation brush from Morphe on it. With this Kylie brush from her Royal Peach palette. And I'm going to be going in with my Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. And I'm going to go right in with this shade right here. Even also, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up So Bougie from that same palette, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use that color to help me blend. Is chocolate gold, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that color with this little flat angled brush, and I. But I'm going to be picking up a decadent with that same Kylie brush that I've been using to blend my look out. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up decadent and we are just going to add some of that into our crease right here. So yeah, that just makes your lips look a little bit more plump, a little bit more full. I really do like to do this step. I do feel like it does do a difference. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer. I am all out of my Laura Mercier powder, which is my favorite um, to set my under eyes. But honestly, the Airspun works just as good, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Let that sit and bake into my skin. I like to go ahead and move on to my eyeliner and my eyelashes. Okay, so I went ahead and applied my eyeliner. I used the NYC eyeliner in black. I believe it's discontinued, but I think you can find it on Amazon. I basically stocked up when I found out that they were going to be discontinuing that because honestly, that has been my favorite eyeliner ever since I started wearing makeup. So, um, that. So I like to use my Morphe E1 brush to dust off and apply some NYC Studio Fix. You guys know the drill with my favorite brush ever. It's the Morphe M495. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply some of that very lightly.
gonna go ahead and mix Coco Topo and So Bougie together, and I'm gonna go ahead and smoke out the bottom of my lash line. Go ahead and finish dusting off the rest of my makeup or the powder here. And we're just gonna go ahead and kind of dust it off. I like to kind of press in my brush too, um, just to make sure that the product doesn't move and that I don't mess anything up. And now I'm gonna go ahead and dust off my nose. So you guys can see it looks a little bit more snatched. I don't hate my nose, you guys, but I do like how it looks when I contour it. With my Tarte Blush in Feisty and my Luxie 522 brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. Just to give me a more flushed look. M515 and I like to use this brush because it's very tiny so I could get right on the bridge of my nose and apply my mascara and I'm going to be using the Benefit Bad Gal Bang mascara honestly this is my favorite mascara at the moment it is kind of pricey obviously um, for a mascara but um, if you can, um, get get your hands on it. Honestly, it is really a really good mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and just blend my own eyelashes down here. Just, not like that, but just a tiny bit right here. Just on the bottom. I don't mess with the eyelash up here. Just on the bottom, basically putting mascara on my eyelashes just to blend them in. And then I'm going to be applying some on the bottom. Okay, so for our lips now, I'm very excited, you guys, because I don't know if you guys have heard of IGXO Cosmetics. Um, um, they basically pair up with, if I'm not mistaken, with Beauty Gurus, and they create like lip kits and liquid lipsticks. Um, so for, que sería? I think it was on Sunday. It was like lipstick day or something like that, and... They had their lip kits that are usually, I think, like about $20 or like... Um, because I have a liquid lipstick that they did with Still, Still Glamorous. And um, I love her so much. And I picked up that liquid lipstick. And honestly, it's really bomb. It's really nice. Um, a really nice formula. So I really wanted to get these lip kits because, I, like I said, I really liked it. So um, I saw that the kits were five dollars on that day because it was like lip kit day or something so I picked up two the two that I really wanted to get but like I said I was like I have a lot already and like 16 bucks you know como que no. but um, I got them for five dollars you guys and I'm so excited to use them I lip again <laughs> they keep telling me to switch up um, that because I'm basically I live in a mood lip that's just what I'm more comfortable with and what I feel that looks best on me so they keep telling me like switch it up switch it up but you know what I really really want to try these out so I'm going to be using like this and in a little box like that and it comes with your lip it comes with your lip liner and your liquid lip so honestly these colors let me just go ahead and swatch them for you guys because I would hate to not show you but I feel like these lips the the color combos that I picked up I feel like you could use like this lip liner with this liquid lipstick and vice versa I feel like it would make it look a little bit different so I think it would look really nice so this one here is icon and it's like a very pretty pink so let me go ahead and swatch that and then this is the liquid lipstick it just comes in very like a very um, sleek black packaging which I don't mind at all and then um, okay. all right so this here is the one that I think I'm going to be using today it is called icon it looks like this one's a little bit lighter which I don't mind because since it's the lip liner 
um, it's gonna probably hide um, it'll probably hide but honestly I used a very light hand porque no lo quería quebrar so it probably does end up matching and then let me go ahead and swatch the next one for you this one is legend So yeah, it looks like the lip liners are a little bit different, but honestly, I think that that's how they're meant to be because if you go on their page and you look like the girls that are wearing it, you could tell that they have like a really pretty, like, it just looks really, really nice. So I really don't know which one I'm going to do. Um, like I said, I was very happy with the other liquid lipsticks that I have. Um, so I'll definitely keep you guys posted on the lip liners and how it works out through the night and all that good stuff. Um, because the color is very pretty, it feels really, really nice. So we'll see how that goes. And yeah, that is basically um, the makeup look. I'm going to go ahead and get my hair did. Hey guys, so I decided to get on back really quick and I'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair on camera for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys how I curl my hair. It's really, honestly, not much, nothing special. But I decided to just go ahead and show you guys what I'm gonna do with it today. I do usually like to wand my hair, but today I don't have that much time and I recently got a haircut, so I know it's gonna take me a little bit more time to wand it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use a regular curling iron from by Conair from Walmart. It's like 11 bucks and it's honestly the best curling iron that I have yet to use. So I'm gonna go show you guys what I do with that and then I like to use this heat protect I like to use this heat protectant from Sally's and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just comb my hair out. Okay guys, so as you guys could see, I went ahead and cut out the beginning part of the video just because I didn't want it to be super, super long. But this is just basically very um, a very repetitive step. It's very easy. It actually, takes, it actually takes me less time to curl my hair than it is to straighten it. I don't know why for some reason. But yeah, as you guys could see here, the, um, the amount or how thick the pieces that I grab and I just basically curl them back. And then um, this curling iron, I got it from Walmart. It's not even like 12 bucks and it works really, really good. And I feel like it doesn't fry your hair, which is a really big plus. And yeah, I mean, I don't really like my hair to be like too, too perfect. I like it to be very kind of messy. So I don't really like try to take my time making sure that every curl is like perfect and yeah that is basically all I do right here this is probably even a little bit tight for me but like I said I had just got my hair um, colored and cut so it's always a little bit weird in the beginning to como pa que se te acomode but anyway yeah that's all I do I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see more like this go ahead and let me know okay so this is basically what I ended up with you guys this is how my hair turns out when I curl it with that curling iron I will list what kind of curling iron it is down below um, honestly I have been using I've been using this curling iron I mean not the same one I've repurchased but that same style I've always stuck with it I just feel like it works really good on my hair if you guys know of any other ones though I definitely be open to try some new ones um, but usually for the most part I do want my hair but when I do curl it I do use this curling iron and this is just kind of what I end up with as you guys saw no tiene chiste it's super easy and it's very quick and back in watching my videos those of you guys that are new don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you guys for coming by and yeah I'll see you guys next time